In this video, I want to talk about exporting your data out of your FileMaker database or FM starting point. Now, once again, one of my tips for making the export process as simple as possible is navigating to a layout where the data is at that you actually want to export. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the contact data entry screen here because this is where I want to actually export the data. Now I have 350,000 records here and that's a lot of data to export. So I'm going to find everyone in Texas and I'm going to export those people. And I have 18,000 records to export. So this should go much faster. Now let's take a look at the options for exporting the data. The file format that we choose for exporting the data really depends upon the target audience and their use of the data. And that will dictate our decision making process upon how we export the data out of FileMaker. Now, if you think about this, some of it's pretty obvious and straightforward. For example, if people are simply going to read the information and maybe present it in a very nice way, well, some people would actually choose to print the information. Of course, these days, a lot of people will output the data as a PDF. So you could actually go save as. PDF right here. And this will save the current record as a PDF. And this gives you several options. We can save the records being browsed in the found set, the current record, or a blank record. So this is basically the same sort of setup that you would have in a print dialog. This is basically where you're printing the layout. But instead of printing it to a printer, we're simply printing it to a PDF pretty straightforward. In fact, we'll cover PDF generation in more detail in another video, but I wanted to mention this right here. Now, once we get past the obvious answer of, hey, export me some information as a PDF, some people might ask you for an export of information in an Excel file format or maybe some other file format. Well, how do we do that in FileMaker? Well, the easiest way to do that, first off, is to navigate to a screen where that information's at, and to create a found set of the information that you want to export. Next, go up under File, down to Export Records. Now you're going to specify the export that you want to occur. I'm going to say Export of Texas. Now there are additional file formats that you could choose. Now we already talked about PDF, but that's basically a visually stimulating output. There's lots of lines and artwork and things like that in it. These exports here are basically text-driven exports. So there's only going to be text data in these exports. In the current version of FileMaker, we have tab separated, comma separated, DBF, merge, HTML, FileMaker Pro, XML, and Excel. Now, of course, the most common one people will instantly recognize probably is Excel. And this exports as the current XLSX, Excel file format. A lot of people might choose to output as this file format right here. The other two really common formats that you'll see are tab separated text up here and comma separated text. These three, these top two here and this bottom one here are by far the most common file formats to export out of FileMaker. When you're trying to take data out of FileMaker and import into another data system. I'm gonna go ahead and select Excel for this. I'm gonna say automatically open right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the extension right here so there's no question about that. And I'm going to say save. Now, because we've selected an Excel export, we get this extra screen of information right here. We can actually choose to include the field names as column headers. And also, we can actually specify worksheet, title, subject author, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and skip that and click continue right here. Now we actually have two options right here. We have the options to look at the fields that are on the current layout, which will actually be a fairly short list of fields, or we can look at all the fields in the table called contacts, and this will be a much deeper list of fields. So just keep that in mind. Now I can specify the fields I want to see. Maybe I just want to see name first, name last, maybe phone one, and that's all I want to see. I can specify export. 
And after a short moment, Excel pops open. And you can see all the sample data right here that was exported. Now it automatically opened Excel, but that Excel file is right here. Now this Excel SX format is somewhat kind of an open standard. So there are other open source spreadsheet applications that actually can read and write this Excel SX format. So exporting the data is pretty straightforward out of FileMaker. Once again, it exported the found set. It didn't export all 350,000 records. Also keep in mind that you can also script this command. So you could have pressed a button here and it could have created this export for you automatically. And that's a really cool capability as well. So keep that in mind. Now a couple gotchas in terms of exporting files. First off, this is once again strictly a text export. There's only text in here, which means that we could not specify an image or container field to be exported here. There was no ability to actually export photos in this document. Now, if we wanted to export photos out of this database to go with this text, we would have had to export the file format as FileMaker Pro. This would have created a brand new FileMaker profile, kind of a completely stripped, blank, white FileMaker file. In fact, I can go ahead and do that for you if you'd like to see it. Notice that FileMaker remembers the last export order. I hit export. And now I get a completely blank database, but it has one table in it and one layout in it with these three fields in it. And I could have had a container field in here with images in here. So that's the only way to actually export images out of FileMaker. So hopefully that gives you a little bit idea of the export capabilities of FileMaker. Just keep in mind that you can script this process. And while it can be done manually, kind of as a one-off basis, scripting it becomes a lot more useful. Also, the use of these different file formats will be largely dictated by what kind of file format can be imported by the other party who's asking for the data. Other data systems might only be able to take in a tab-separated file, or a comma-separated file, or maybe you're just trying to get the data out of FileMaker into Excel, in which case it's pretty obvious what kind of file format you're going to use. So just keep in mind that you don't have to be an expert at all these file formats. Just know that they're in here, and know that as you interact with someone, you're going to need to ask them what kind of file format they can accept, because FileMaker does support all the common ones.